few people try to change their power steering fluid on their Subaru WRXs and so forth on, on YouTube and they do the turkey baster method where you take a turkey baster and you suck all the fluid out of the reservoir, put fresh in, go drive it around the block, come back, suck it out, put fresh in, and repeat until they have clear, fl clean fluid in the reservoir. Well, I uh, have an uh, easier method of doing this that we kind of carried over from the uh, GMB body days when I used to flush the power steering fluid on that. So, what you'll need to do is you'll need to take your intake plastic boot off of the top of the radiator if you have that still. You need to gain access to your reservoir. What you'll need to do is the big line here that goes to the pump is your feed line. This is your feed line, and the line coming back from the rack is your return line right here. So, what you want to do is you'll disconnect this line from your aluminum line right here, pull it off, put a bolt in it, put a clamp on it so it's nice and tight, get you some uh, 3 8 fuel line and you'll connect that to your uh, return line here long enough that you can run it to a bucket here. So then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling the reservoir with clean fluid as you have a partner crank the ignition over for 10 to 15 seconds at a time so you don't overheat the starter while you let the power steering pump cycle fresh fluid through until you get clear fluid coming out of the end. So in order to keep the car from starting while you're cranking it over you'll want to pull the uh, number 11 fuse here and that's the ignition fuse so the car will still roll over but it will not start so this will allow you to work at your own pace and you can run it every 10 to 15 seconds so the starter doesn't overheat while you're flushing fluid. So I'm just using standard Valvoline Dex Merc uh, Dextron 3 equivalent. You can use synthetic if you want, but I mean it's a power steering pump so I don't really see an advantage to running synthetic unless you do a lot of tracking. So we'll get into this. So basically you're going to have your assistant crank the car over while you watch the fluid come out of this hose here that you have drained into a bucket or your oil dry and you want to wait. You want to keep doing this until you have clear fluid that comes out of here, or nice clean fluid that comes out of here and obviously don't run the reservoir dry. Like I said, it's still dirty, so just grab your Valvoline or your, your fluid and fill the reservoir back up again. And have your assistant start the car, or try to start the car again. Once you've cycled, you know, you only really need to cycle like a quart, quart and a half through this, this way. Once you've done that, um, reconnect your hose here again with your clamps, fill your reservoir to uh, the max level, uh, put your air box connector back on and uh, start it up and make sure you got proper fluid level and go drive it and you're done. This way you're not using the turkey baster all day long. We've got 10 minutes wrapped up into doing this, whether it's you're spending forever doing it the other way. Thanks for watching.